All right, editing Luna here. I just want to give a quick disclaimer going in. Camera cut out again while I was recording. It cut out maybe the last minute or so of the actual reaction portion. So that's completely lost. I kept it in because I was able to basically give just a brief recap of everything that got cut out. I uh, still had a good portion of the reaction left, and I could do my review section. So, um... The reaction is cut short, I just wanted to give a warning for that, I, I'm sorry about that, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Um, hopefully next week I'll be back with a uh, reaction that isn't messed up, and uh, hopefully y'all can uh, still enjoy this week's reaction. So I'll let y'all hop into it, I hope y'all enjoy, and uh, yeah, next week will probably not be like this. <laughs> Howdy everyone, welcome back to the Luna Geeks Out channel. Uh, day late today, yesterday I uh, took some time to work on a... Um, to work on something from a military account because I've been very much neglecting that. Today is a very good day because Ross's new uh, solo album, uh, what is it? Uh, the Guilty Pleasure just dropped. We got the first single off of it, or I guess I say first single, it's probably the only single off of it. Um, I did some digging. It looks like the title is I'm a B. I don't know because I don't speak Korean. This is just going off basically Google Translate and then one of those pronunciation sites online. Hopefully I've got it right. If I am wrong in my pronunciation of that, someone correct me. <laughs> but uh, translation seems to be I'm a light, which is pretty cool. Anyways, uh, can't wait to check this out. Let's hop into it. Film, right? Oh, you forgot if I was filming or not. <laughs> it's got sort of a atmospheric start again. I've been having that a lot lately on this channel. I just, just got to listen to in general. All that atmospheric stuff. <laughs> So some atmosphere of the music gets going. Fish I didn't saw it makes things very Oh, my God. 
All right, I don't know what's going on, but my camera just stopped filming in the middle of the reaction for some reason, and of course did not give any sign that it did until after I was done reacting, so that's nice. Fortunately, not too much was missed. We did miss the really cool, um, I guess heartbreak in it. Uh, I just said a couple things about that, about how that, that was just a cool little section. Um, there was uh, one spot that was cut out where I didn't really talk about anything in the video, I just I talked about how I really wish I had Wallace's ability to just make any look, just to pull off any look, um, you know, wear any outfit to make it look good, that kind of thing. And then I said how I was sure there's some kind of symbolism in the little end shot with all the snakes, but I didn't know what it was getting at at all. So, unfortunately it cut out really the one really cool section of the song that made me go like, whew, but not too much was missed, so I went, you know what, I'll just, I'll finish the video up because I'm not recording another reaction this week, I'm just gonna finish this one. <laughs> so, here we are in the post-reaction thing, pretty cool song, um, I'll have a bit more to say about that in a moment. First off, I want to talk about the lyrics. I, I don't have anything direct with them. There's a lot of, like, some ghosts of some ideas floating around in my head that I can't get anything concrete enough. I think there's some stuff about, like, being true to yourself, much, um, like there was present in Hwasa's last solo album, but nothing concrete enough for me to go like, oh yeah, that's the meaning of this song. I think there's some stuff about not letting others get you down, but again, nothing concrete enough. With the title, there's one article I, I was looking at from uh, K-Station TV about, I guess, um, the live performance of all this. Um, and they said that the title was pronounced I'm a bitch, which is what I heard in the lyrics. Uh, other sources are saying B, so I, I don't know what the pronunciation is. Th it is consistent that the translation is light, though. So... What I'm seeing there is uh, sort of taking the hate that's thrown at you and turning it into something good, sort of classic when life gives you lemons kind of situation, which is another thing that I see a lot in Hoss's solo stuff. Um, pretty solid, but again, nothing concrete enough for me to go like, oh yeah, that's what the song is getting at. I, th I think there's a lot of different ideas here, I just can't get them for whatever reason. But musically, this was a solid track. It had more of a subdued, chill kind of feel, a little bit darker, but not to the point of, um, being, you know, sad or just dark, I suppose, just almost, I don't know, not melancholic, but it was like an upbeat track either, it was this, it was this weird mix of feel, the feels of styles, of, I, don't, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but it was, um, just a fairly chill track, which was nice, it, um, didn't ever really go too crazy moments, which I think worked. The main focus was on the vocals, those are what really stood out to me, um, aside from that break with the harp, which is really cool. But musically, a very chill track, didn't get up to too much, but really, um, fit the video, really fit the, um, just style. What Hoss was going for with it, uh, she very much achieved. Now, there's, there's some stuff I was going to talk about, um... Yeah, it, it didn't, I didn't like it quite as much as the other solo tracks that she's done, um, I do tend to prefer, um, I suppose more energetic track, but this one did have some good atmosphere to it, which did fit with a lot of the stuff I've been listening to lately, just by pure chance, I haven't really been seeking out atmospheric things, it's just, uh, I've been listening to some Aglotch lately, they're very atmospheric, uh, and the album exchange the Slipknot Discord server, I got sent an atmospheric black metal album, Nemophila's last track was fairly atmospheric, um, the, um, just music shuffle on Spotify and my music mix gave me some Bell Witch and all this different stuff, which is, I've been getting a lot of atmospheric music lately, so on one hand it was really nice to react to something that continued that trend, but on the other hand I do wish I'd gotten something that broke that trend a little bit, because atmospheric stuff is nice as a good break, but I don't want to listen to solely atmospheric stuff, sometimes I just want to listen to just some fun song. <laughs> which this was to a certain extent, yeah, I got into it, but I don't know, it wasn't, say, uh, let's take a track I listened to yesterday, uh, Say Yes, I think it's by Pancha featuring, um, Moonbjol of Monmu. It's just, it's just a fun, upbeat, cute pop song. Sometimes that's all you need, 
maybe that's what I needed from this, but what I got was fine. <laughs> so, I don't know, I don't have too much to say on this one. This one didn't really impact me as strongly as uh, her last album did, uh, but it was solid. I, I think it's a very good follow-up to the last album, but just, I don't think you can really um, make a follow-up to something that was like the masterpiece that... Um, God, what was the last album called? Maria. The, the masterpiece that Maria was. And expect it to have sort of the same magic and everything. Um, and th that's something that'll happen a lot. You'll have that one album that is phenomenal. And then the follow-up, it can't live up to it. Uh, that happened to such an extent with Judas Priest, for example. Uh, that their um, career was... Uh, I've heard this all. It was sort of destroyed. Of course, they were Judas Priest. Their career wasn't destroyed. But they could never <laughs> live up to Painkiller again. Um, for a band that... I listen to much more. I'm a much bigger fan of the Judas Priest. They're awesome. Aether Realm, their album Tarot, was a masterpiece. Their follow-up album, Redneck Vikings from Hell, which I love. I have a signed copy of it. It's a really fun album. It can't live up to Tarot because Tarot was just that good. And this is the same situation. I, this track was great. I'm sure the rest of the album, the mini album or EP or whatever the term is, is going to be great. But I don't think it's going to be Maria. And... That's disappointing, but it's not surprising because Marie was just that good. <laughs> but I've, I've said this probably multiple times now, but really good track. Um, can't wait to see the rest of it. I'm going to wait a week to check everything out, just on the off chance that another track gets released as, as like a music video or anything, so I can get another reaction. Um, if nothing happens by then, I'll check it out, and if anything happens after that, Hey, I waited and nothing happened, so it's just, it's, it's my loss, um, so I'm gonna ask y'all to leave spoilers for the rest of the album out of, uh, the comments, I wanna go into the stuff as, uh, blind as possible in the event that something happens, but that's going to do it for the video, so thank you all for watching, be sure to like if you liked, subscribe if you wanna see more, and comment down below with your own thoughts on the track, any feedback or criticism, or anything you want me to react to. In the description will be a link to the music video, so you can go check it out, support the artist, and a link to my Discord server, you can join the Trench Club, be a part of the community there. A link to uh, my Instagram account, where I post uh, upload announcements, music collection things, album reviews, different stuff like that. And a link to my Spotify playlist of all the tracks I've reacted to, at least the ones that are on Spotify. Along with the link tree, which just has everything else of mine, in case you're interested in any of that. Once again, that is going to do it for the video. So like I said, thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll be seeing ya.